Hello well, everyone, welcome back to my channel. This week we're going to talk about Express LRS. Now, any of you that run Express LRS will know it can be a little bit of a faff about flashing things, especially if you're new to it and you're not quite sure what you're doing. And unlike Crossfire with Express LRS, you can't actually flash your receiver from your module and your controller yet. Well, what I thought I'd do in this video is show you a quick and easy way to flash your receivers, and you don't even need a laptop to do it, so let's have a look. Well, the only piece of equipment you're going to need to flash the receiver is this, your mobile phone. And uh, on that phone you're going to need the Speedy B app. You can see I've got it fired up there. Now, the Speedy B app is a great little app. It allows you to do just about everything you can do on Betaflight without the need for a, a laptop. And plus it's in your pocket, so if you need to do any adjustments in the field, you can do. You know, you can swap motor directions and everything. I've actually got a little video on that. I'll uh, put a little card up the top if you want to have a look. It's an old one like, so it's, it's not my best video. So anyway, what I'll do, I'll go down to the bench and I'll show you how you can flash your Express LRS receiver using your mobile phone and the Speedy B app. So let's go. Right, so where we are down at the bench, and obviously the first thing you want to do now is fire your Speedy B app up. Now, instead of letting you sit and watch my phone, what I'll actually do, I'll put a, a screen recording here so you can see more clearly what I'm actually doing. So right. Like I said, uh, you want to fire the Speedy Bay app up. Now, if you haven't got it, you can download it from the uh, Android or the Apple Store if you need to. And once you've installed it, what you want to do, you start her up, you get to this menu, and then where the four little squares are at the bottom of the screen, click on them. That brings up your toolbox, and you can see there in your top right-hand corner is the Express LRS configurator. So what we want to do is click straight onto that. Now I've used this to uh, already flash a few of my other quads just to make sure it works alright before I film this video so that's why there's some of the settings in there. Now I'm going to be flashing my Tiny Hawk 2. Well, this is a great little quad but obviously it was a D8 receiver to start with and it was never the range was never brilliant so I've actually put Express LRS on you can see there. So right what the first thing you want to do is decide what release you want to put on. I'll put on 2.51 which is the latest as of the filming of this video. Now the device is not actually a Namimno, it is a Happy Model. So I'll scroll through the menu to find that. Happy Model 2.4 and then your device is the Happy Model EP2 2400RX. So I'll select that. Now I want to be flashed this over Wi-Fi so we'll select that there. I have a custom binding phrase on this, which I'll put in now. That's that. And then just make sure all your settings are what you want. And we'll build and flash. Now, like I say, I've already flashed some receivers, so it, has, it must store a copy of the build already in, because it's already asking me to uh, power, the, uh, power the receiver up. So. What we'll do is power the quad up there, and you can see the receiver on the back. We'll just give that a minute to uh, go into Wi-Fi mode. Now, the few times that I have done this before, the actual compiling of the firmware on the phone takes roughly a minute. So it's not very long at all. But like I say, if you've done it before, it must store a copy, because this is gone straight to the uh, connect to the receiver stage. So, right, you can see there that it's flashing, so we'll connect to the uh, Wi-Fi hotspot. And there it is there, Express LRS RX, we'll click on that, and there you go, it's connected there, go back, and it automatically starts flashing the receiver, there you go, a little warning there telling you to let the uh, LED resume blinking, there you go, it's just come back on now, before you start, so click finish, and that's that, done. What we'll do now, we'll just quickly power cycle the quad. And I'll just power up my T-Lights just to make sure that it connects. Welcome to OpenTX. Disarmed. Fight mode angle. You can see there the bars just appeared on that, meaning that the, uh, the quad is bound, so my binding phrase and everything's worked. Let's just make sure before we... Buzzer. 
Fuzzle works. Disarm. Arms. So there we go. A quick, simple and easy way to flash your Express LRS receivers without using a laptop. Well, there you go. That's going to do it for this video. Like I said, nothing uh, too technical there. All you need is your mobile phone and you can flash your receivers more or less wherever you are as long as you have a connection to the internet. Now I've used my phone to flash all my quads so obviously it proves it works. Now I only, I've only used it on the, the Mimmo and the Happy Model receivers, I haven't used it on any other but I'm assuming if the if your receiver's in the uh, device menu when you click on it and drop it down then I'm assuming it must work absolutely fine. So. So if anybody comes up with any problems using the app please leave me a message below i'll try and help you the best i can i'm, I'm no expert but i'll i'll do what i can for you so anyway thanks for watching this video if you enjoyed it please think about giving it a thumbs up and subscribing if you found it helpful please let me know in the comments if you didn't find it helpful please let me know there in the comments as well now uh, if you go down to the video description i'll put a, uh, a link down there to the uh, app if i can find one there is but there's also the Speedy Bay dongle and stuff like that. I'll put some uh, links to them down there and all. Now, some of them might be affiliate links. I'm sure you know what they are if you watch plenty of FPV videos. There's also links down there to my Patreon and Buy Me A Coffee. Great way to support the channel. Anyway, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.